Breaking news. The creators of the Arsenal Camera Assistant have now launched a Kickstarter for the Arsenal 2, all without finishing their original device. Now here's Matt with more details. Ha, thanks John. Well, a few days ago I got tipped off in the comment section about the news, so I went straight to the horse's mouth to get the primary source of information of all things Arsenal their blog. There I found nothing but a short tailed paragraph and a hyperlink to their Kickstarter where their customers can give them money for the Arsenal too. So when I clicked the link I saw not just one new Arsenal but two new Arsenals. So that's two Arsenal 2's right Matt? That's right John. Two new Arsenals. Two. Well seems a little suspect seeing as they never finished their first device and now they're gonna release two follow-up devices? Well <laughs> Well, that's because you're a reporter with a liberal arts degree, not an engineer of any kind. Well, let's cut to Matt in the field using the Arsenal 1. All right, good morning, everyone. We are out here with the soon to be obsolete Arsenal. Wee hours in the morning, a little bit before golden hour, trying to find some interesting subjects and just to see how the Arsenal finished off, if it is finished. most annoying thing in the world dude this is like the fourth or fifth time the arsenal has disconnected and by this time we've missed golden hour completely so i don't know man hopefully that second or second and a half version is better than this Buddy. Do you see this? It's a good summary of my morning. Took the arsenal out at 4 a.m. to prepare to get golden hour shots. Instead, the device did its disconnection dance, per usual, for about an hour. So I think I got one usable shot. And the rest of the time, I just took pictures of photographers taking the same picture I was going to take. Hashtag Instagrammers, hashtag cliche. But it is what it is. According to the Kickstarter page, the two new arsenals do share the same software, but the pro one's faster. I can only speculate as to why, because I'm just a journalist with a liberal arts degree. I'm not an engineer of any kind, so... Hmm. I'll bite though, the new releases do sound pretty enticing because it seems as though they've listened to some of the complaints that the users of the Arsenal Mark I have had, such as weather sealing. That in itself seems like a demographic shift in their customer base to uh, more or less prosumers and serious photographers rather than just novices. And then on the same topic, the Arsenal now supports manual controls up to 100 feet away so you can change your aperture, your ISO, and shutter speed from a pretty far distance. And cool, that's what a trigger is meant to do. They're also offering micro SD card slots so you can save photos Set photos on their Kickstarter, so I'm assuming that's JPEGs, probably DNG as well, don't know about RAW, to the device. Now as for modes, expect the same old, same old. You got your focus stacks, your brackets, smart mode, and time lapses, but there is some new, pretty interesting modes that they are toting. It does panoramas now, but honestly, most DSLR mirrorless cameras nowadays have panorama shots available, and even your smartphones can do panoramas pretty well. The new crowd control seems pretty fascinating. I don't know how they plan to do that. I could think of some ways on my own using variable ND filters, but that in itself has its flaws. So to do this in camera without the need of an ND filter is something to think about. I mean, if it works, night assist, doesn't that sound cool? Because as we've seen, the arsenal has always struggled in low light shots. Now the new one, it says it's a pretty slow process. It could take from 30 seconds to two minutes to focus properly at night, but it's a start, right? They're also offering what they call deep color, which don't get it twisted with 
32-bit deep color. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's more or less a color profile that enhances your photos in camera. So what I've seen, it lightens your shadows, darkens your highlights if needed, adds some contrast. It's a color profile, but it's smart. So, I mean, with that said, where do we go with this? The Arsenal 1. I'm sure with all the refinements they've made along the way in the beta phase of the Mark 1, they've reached the limit of what the original Arsenal software and hardware can offer. So they're moving on to a Mark 2. But still, I just don't know because first one was never finished. There's no whole scene focus. There's no video mode on my system and my arsenal. Are we going to see that before the Mark II drops or are we just going to leave it in the dark? I mean, for the backer's sake of the original product, I really do hope that they make a few more updates with the original arsenal before they throw it back into the river. I mean, honestly, though, it doesn't really matter much what I think because I'm just a person and they've already reached a couple million dollars in backing funds for the second device. I mean, so to close out, will you be getting the Arsenal too? I'd like to hear your comments below and even better, go to my Instagram and we can talk about it there. I'll post some Arsenal uh, pictures and we'll just start a big giant argument in the comments. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you next time.